Hi, this is Mr. Colley, and today we're going to use the micro bit to create a compass. Because if you've got your micro bit with you and you turn it over on the back, you'll see it's got all the parts labelled. And on the left hand side, you've got four little labels processor, compass, accelerometer, and pins. The compass means your micro bit actually knows what direction it's pointing in. So we're going to write a bit of code to make our little LED display tell us which direction we're facing. To do that, I'm going to go to create code, and I'm going to use the block editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable to store what direction I'm facing in. So I'll go to variables, and I'll choose set item to, but I'm going to drop that down and I'm going to give it a more suitable name, so I'll call it rename the variable and I'm going to call it direction like so and then I'm going to use set item 2 and where are we it's in let me find it input there we go one of the last ones I tried set direction 2 compass heading there we are so I'll drop that in. Now all I need to do is get my micro bit to say if the compass heading is this many degrees, say north. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a log some logic with an if. And here, from down here, I'm going to join on more logic and I'm going to use my less than, which is this crocodile, which is crocodile sort of jaws, which is thinner on the left hand side, like so. I'm going to put direction from variables in there and basically I want sort of this angle here that little triangle if I'm facing in that direction I want it to say north so if my direction is less than 45 degrees basic show string and I'm going to get that to show an N now couple of things. Number one, if I just run this script it will take a direction heading once and it won't adjust as I move around. So I'm going to put this whole code in a forever loop so it will keep setting my direction to the compass heading. As I turn it will keep adjusting that and updating. Let's test it. Run that. And you'll see I've got a little arrow at the bottom here. It's saying north. As I go past 45 degrees You'll see the new degrees adjust. Nothing's happening because I've not told it to blank the screen if I do. But it is saying north because it starts off facing that direction. What I can do now is I can say, well, okay, that's fine. But if I go past 135 degrees, which is a 90 degree turn from 45, so I'm adding 90, um, I want it to say east because that's in that direction. So for sort of this triangle here, that area of the compass, I want it to say east. I can do that by adjusting my if here by clicking the little blue settings tab and choosing else if and dropping that in, like so. Now if you if you look, I'll click my settings tag to make that disappear again, I've got another else if. So I'll duplicate this block here, but I'm going to adjust it so that if my direction is less than 135 degrees, and I'll duplicate my string. I want it to say east instead. There we go. So now if I run it, say north. If I go past 45 degrees now, it should change to east. There we go, it's changed to east. Um, I'm going to leave you to do the next two directions, but again, I'll just tell you that the last one, you don't need an else if, you just need an else. That's my one clue. But your challenge is to try and make your compass work with the remaining two directions. Off you go.